out to leaders of several opposition parties, including Congress and Samajwadi Party, over the contentious GST bill, which is likely to be taken up by Rajya Sabha next week. According to sources, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley separately met leaders of Congress, left parties, Samajwadi Party and JDU, and discussed with them provisions of the GST bill. Jaitley met leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha, Gulam Nabi Azad, and former Finance Minister P. Chidambaram in the Central Hall of Parliament. He also met the deputy leader of Congress in Rajya Sabha, Anand Sharma. Besides, Jaitley met SP leader Ram Gopal Yadav and CPIM General Secretary Sitaram Yachari. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also held discussions with Yadav when Rajya Sabha was adjourned briefly during the question hour. The Business Advisory Committee of the Rajya Sabha will meet at 4 p.m. to discuss the agenda for the coming week. The government is working to address the concerns raised by opposition parties, including Congress, on the Constitution 122nd Amendment Bill, known as the Goods and Services Tax Bill. The Union Cabinet yesterday cleared changes to the Goods and Services Tax Bill, that's GST, dropping 1% uh, manufacturing tax and providing guarantee to compensate states for any revenue loss for the first five years of rollout of the proposed indirect tax regime. The cabinet also decided to include in the bill that any dispute between states and center will be adjudicated by GST Council, which will have representation from both the center and the states. Giving clear signals of its commitment to revolutionary GST bill, cabinet cleared changes in the GST constitutional amendment bill passed by Lok Sabha in May last year to accommodate the concerns expressed by Congress party and states. 1% manufacturing tax has been dropped in keeping with the Congress demand. Addressing the concerns of state governments, the government has agreed to guarantee compensation to states for any revenue loss in the first five years of the rollout of the proposed indirect tax regime. This decision is in keeping with the recommendations of the Select Committee of the Rajya Sabha. The Cabinet also decided to include in the Constitutional Amendment Bill that any dispute between states and the Centre will be adjudicated by the GST Council which will have representation from both the center and the states. Congress party had demanded that a Supreme Court judge headed dispute resolution body be set up. The third demand made by the Congress of including GST rate in the statute has also not been accepted. Since this demand was delaying the passage of the bill, the center yesterday built a broad consensus with the states that the rate should not be mentioned in the constitution and instead could figure in GST law. An assurance was also given that the tax rate in the new regime, which is to be decided by the GST Council, will be less than what it is at present. The GST bill, with the changes approved by the Cabinet, could come up in the Rajya Sabha as early as this week, but certainly by next week. bill GST. इस पे जो जिस तरह की जो सवाल उठ रहे थे उन सभी सवालों के जवाब इस मीटिंग से जो स्टेट्स के एफएम के जो फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स थे उन सब के साथ बैठक करके जेटली जी ने उन सब को दूर कर दिया एक विश्वास पैदा कर दिया है कि इससे पूरे देश का लाभ होगा तो उम्मीद है आने वाले समय में ये जल्द ये बिल पास होगा द अमेंडमेंट्स वर टेकन अप बाय द कैबिनेट आफ्टर फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर अरुण जेटलीज अशरेंस टू स्टेट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स टू इंक्लूड the mechanism of compensating states for all the loss of revenue for five years in the bill. In the new regime, there will be one central GST or CGST and state GST or SGST. States levy sales tax or VAT on goods sold within their jurisdiction and get a central sales tax on sales made outside their territories. This will no longer be available in the new regime. The changes that got the cabinet nod are to the constitutional amendment bill that was approved by Lok Sabha in May last year. So once the Rajya Sabha approves the legislation, the amended bill will have to go back to the Lok Sabha again for approval. After this, 50% of state assemblies will have to pass the legislation. After the legislative procedure gets over, the GST Council, which will be the decision-making body on all issues, including rates of the new tax, will come into play. The government plans to roll out GST by April 1st, 2017 and is working overtime to build consensus to get the bill passed in the ongoing session. Bureau Report, DD News.